how are you? I hope you're having a good day and I hope you're buzzing for day two of the UEFA Women's Euros. I've just got myself in the car and I am about to head to Southampton because today we're at St Mary's Stadium, home of Southampton FC and today is going to host Northern Ireland against Norway. Norway have won this competition twice and they also own the top goal scorer of this competition as well, Ida Hegerberg. Now she's been absent for quite some time uh, due to a cruciate ligament injury uh, but she came back for the Champions League for Lyon, scored two goals and we just know that she's going to absolutely deliver for Norway today. Also they're firing power, they've got Karen and Graham Hansen from Barcelona and one of my favourite WSL players, Guido Wrighton as well, but the story of the day has to be the fact that Northern Ireland are going to compete in their first ever major tournament ever. They have never made it to the Euros or World Cup or a bigger competition at that. So this is just brilliant that they're here today. I'm excited to see the travel and support that they bring with them. I'm excited to see the girls in green do their thing. We're not really expecting them to come out of the group, but it's more than that. The fact that they're there is massive progress in itself. So I'm really looking forward to this game. I'm going to drive nice. I'm gonna put my phone down and I'll see you in Southampton. There she is. So tonight's game is a capacity of 31,000. It's actually lovely, isn't it? It's my first time here at St. Mary's. But it feels nice, it feels right. It feels like the roof is gonna come off this place a little bit later on. This is a pocket size pass, as you can see. I'm loving this. It looks absolutely fabulous. I'm working for Talksport today. Talksport 2 hosting the show, which is going to be lovely. Very much looking forward to this one. I feel like I haven't expressed my love for Northern Ireland yet because my nanny's from Northern Ireland, so we spent so much of our childhood and so many of our holidays in a little place called Coney Island in the north of Ireland. One of my favourite places in the world. Norway, also a lovely place. I visited Norway with my sister, Richard Little John, played for them. She played for a place called Bergen, a club called Bergen, which was glorious. It was about 90 quid to go to the toilet. So that didn't last long. Fabulous. This is where we're going to be broadcasting from tonight. Be up there somewhere. In this. Oh, Bergen. Yes. Yes. There she is. The sun is shining, it's 25 degrees on the sunny south coast. Fans are starting to gather already. We kick off. I've just been speaking to some of the, the young girls uh, behind me here, some of them over there as well, who have travelled over from Northern Ireland to, to see their heroes tonight. Northern Ireland have never made it to a major competition before. And the fact that these young girls, eight, nine years old, see this as normal, see this as absolutely nothing unusual to, to come and watch their country of women play at St Mary's in Southampton on a stage like this in front of the world is just so heartwarming. I've been going to women's football all of my life. As I mentioned earlier, I went to see my sister's games when I was like five, six and onwards. And, and back then she used to play with the boys because there weren't enough, obviously, girls. And all I see is it's just these young girls who all love football and all play football. This is the new normal. And it just fills me pride. And it's just a really good feeling to know that the game is going the way that it's going. And I loved my experiences of women's football or girls football. Uh, when I was when I was a wee girl, so the fact that they get to see it like this is just lovely. I absolutely love it. Kick off about four hours away, and I've not even had a drink yet, and I'm already feeling emotional. Come on! They've all come out for the warm up. Good Northern Ireland this side. There's Marissa Callahan. Then up this side. Got Norway. There's Ada Hegerberg. Just here. Running for gold, you see her, you see her. Graham Hansen, Euro Wrighton. Girls are ready. Take a quick break and reflect on last night's game. We've got Jonas Edeval, who was at Old Trafford last night. Arsenal boss, how are you? Very good. Exciting to be here. Well, it's absolutely phenomenal. You must enjoy watching how the women's game has grown. A lot. And, and also enjoy seeing players that I have the privilege to work with almost every day taking part on, on this stage and in, in representing their countries and seeing them in, in, in that environment. It's, uh, it's incredible. 
You must be referring to Beth Mead getting that goal last night at Old Trafford in front of 70,000 fans was everything. Yeah, I think it was a very, very special moment for Beth that she has worked really, really hard for her scoring a goal on, on Old Trafford. I mean, I know that means a lot to her and uh, from, from the season she has had and the work she has put in, it's very well deserved. Do you take part credit for that because she's had a very good season since you joined the club, made her way back into the England squad. What is it you've told her or made her believe that's changed her game? I don't think I've told her that much. I, I, I mainly have tried and, to, and always tried to tell her to play on her strengths uh, because I still don't think Beth Mead realises how good of a football player she is. Uh, so I think she just needs to be reminded of that and, uh, and to keep trusting her skills over and over again. You've got many of your players taking part in this competition. Stina Blackstenius, of course, for Sweden, your country, who you'll see soon. Who are you supporting here tonight for Northern Ireland and Norway? Well, I have an Arsenal player in Norway with Frida Monum, so, uh, so so I hope she does really well to, tonight, So, and therefore that's probably going to lead to the Norway winning. Can England win the Euros or does Sweden win the Euros? Where do you sit on that? Oh, I think it's very difficult to, to say because I think England can win the Euros. I think also Sweden. I think there are six countries that can win the, the trophy, so it will be very, very even. But I think both England and Sweden is going to progress to the quarterfinals. Have a good one tonight. Thank you. Thank you. And I have to say that has been such an entertaining first half. I mean, whatever your view is on women's football, whether the standard's not good enough or the quality's not there, that was entertainment at its finest. We got three goals, several chances from Norway and a couple of moments and glimmers of hope from the north of Ireland as well. I have to say, good fun, a little bit of VAR action as well. But Northern Ireland have a lot to do in this second half. If they can hold it at 3-0, that's not massively disappointing. It's not great, but it can always be worse. If they're going to concede more goals in the second half, we're probably going to see a very unhappy Mr. Kenny Shields, their manager, who was the man who said that women concede more goals because they're so much more emotional than men. We'll wait and see what happens in the next 45 minutes. Thank you. 